It seems like I start my videos every time is in the garage. But we got the bike loaded, uh, headed down to Collinsville, Alabama, which is uh, pretty much Georgia. But so I gotta go over to Chattanooga and then back to Alabama. So that's kind of odd. But uh, yeah, we're gonna probably stop and get some breakfast on the way and uh, set that cruise at a reasonable speed limit like a good Samaritan I am and then head on down that way. fourth overall in the day uh first race on the the 252 stroke so i think it went okay um definitely do some adjusting on it um i haven't really done too much of that since i've got back from jody i've only rode it a handful of times and not even in the woods uh pretty much just all motocross tracks and but yeah, just need to do a little bit of tinkering. Uh, I'll show you what a tomorrow problem looks like. Um, yeah, this is this is my tomorrow problem. It's just tomorrow is a MSXC race, so I gotta change some tires and oil and air filter. I might not do the air filter, but uh, bleed the brakes and whatnot. Double check some stuff. Also, I put the tires in front of my uh, wall gas heater, try and soften them up a little bit to make it a little bit easier on myself. It is a muddy mess out here. I just sent it up the hill. I just held it wide open. Climbed all the way up here. I got the idea from this dude in the Cummins over here. He started climbing up. This is a pretty cool place out here. We're down here in like a valley. I guess the youth is starting right now. I guess I'm gonna unload and uh take my bike to sign up since I can't drive there. I guess I could, but I don't want to get pulled there. I don't know if I'll wear my GoPro or not because it's way too muddy for that. That's why I didn't wear it at the last race. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm pretty good about cleaning the camera off. But yeah, it, it's, it's almost too much to keep up with when it's, when it's that muddy because you're almost putting roost on it yourself. Doing a little mud prep action. Old goggle lens, throw it on there, duck some roost. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I got. How's it looking, Captain? <laughs> Ooh, and I just bought these new roll offs yesterday. I had roll offs in a minute, but. I figured today it'd probably be a necessity because I would run out of tear-offs super fast. <clears throat> and this track it looks like, uh, flip the camera around, it is a very clay soil out here. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to wash, I normally wash my bike the next day after the race. So um, yeah, that stuff is going to be like concrete come Monday. Yeah, so, uh, 
Not looking forward to that. I'm watching this track loader pull in. Dude, a mini killdozer? That's a wrap. Ended up third overall behind Gage and Wyatt. Uh, Gage first, second, or uh, Wyatt second, me third. Um, dude, that track was pretty brutal, um, but really fun. I haven't raced a mud race like that in a while. Um, you gotta be very wise with your uh, line choices out there. Uh, and I was not my last lap. I uh, jumped this route and landed in a rut and dang near kicked myself in the back of the head on the last lap not even a mile from the finish line and begged like a little schoolgirl to a guy in the woods to uh, help me pull it out because dude i had no energy left in me um but yeah that that was fun super exhausted um uh, but dude i need to take that guard off that uh for my sprocket because dude it is caking up with mud it's, it's bad. Um, still a quarter-ish tank left. I don't know. I got kind of low. I think we did ride over two hours. But yeah, uh, it was pretty good. Won a little bit of money. <clears throat> now it's time to go home and watch the Super Bowl. Taylor Swift made it on her first try. So, get to see to see her play in that. I guess my bib was super soft this weekend and I caught a rock on it so we're gonna take that off and uh, either put a crescent wrench on it and some mallet block of wood it snaps hard enough it pulled it pulled my axle back so we're gonna get that pulled off and uh, do a POV of straightening it out
it's not just bent outward it's kind of bent down a little bit too so maybe when I bring this back over it might lift it up so uh, I don't know I don't feel like buying a new rim so let's see how this goes I guess Move it over a little bit. That still looks like dog shit. So anyway, here's my jig. So we got it propped up by a four by four. Got a two by four coming in to the flat spot. Got it propped up on the other bench. I'm hoping to be able to hit it, throw that lip back over, and we'll be good. So we'll see how that turns out. I think we're pretty close this way. I can smooth those out, make that look a little bit better. There's this spot right here, that's pretty bad. All right, we got this, where's it at? So this was the lip that was bent way out. So, I had bent right here before, which camera comic. Oh, it's because this is like a domed fish eye zoom right now. That's why that looks so bad. But this is where the lip was bent way out. I got it all right, but uh, so this is still really low right here. I say really, it's not that bad, but I loosened the spokes to be able to get this to come over a little bit more. Um, but I'm going to stick it in the vise and do some wood stacking to see if I can get this to come up just a little bit. If I can't, it'll be alright and I'm, I'm going to run it anyway. So. I was taking a fucking picture anyway. <laughs> it changed settings on me. So, I'll repeat what I said. Piece of wood, keeping the rim off of this end of the vise. Notched out piece of wood this side of the vise and I'm screwing it in to try and bring that lip up. Well, it looks about the same. Maybe it's time for some gold wheels, am I right guys? F's in the chat for gold wheels. But uh, that's as straight as I can get that wheel. Um, if it gives me problems, I guess I'll just have to put some gold wheels on or something. I'm just gonna do like a montage. Like I'll race a couple races and then like some garage stuff and I'll just piece that together and do like 10 minute, 15 minute long videos of just highlighted stuff also going to buy a uh, like a vlog style camera. Right now I'm on my GoPro, so um but yeah, I think that's how I'm going to start filming stuff. I'll uh, edit this at some point. I don't know when, but yeah. That son of a bitch. Ha, 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 ha.